Beloveds, you must understand that nothing is ever the way that it seems. If you knew the ending of a story before you read the tale, you would not read the tale. If you knew how a game would end before you played it, you would not play the game. If you knew how your life was going to turn out before you lived it, you would not live your life. <laughs> While you have allowed yourself to go through all of these machinations of rage and sadness and terror and loss and feelings and emotions, there is this aspect of you that is joyful, that is jubilant, that is playful, and that is laughing yourself silly at everything that you are putting yourself through. However, beloved, if you focus only upon the joy, the happiness, the love, the peace, and the frivolity, you would not allow yourself to go through all of the drama. Hmm. Shakespeare wrote comedies, he wrote tragedies, and he wrote histories. Which do you think were the most exciting? Yes, the comedies would make you laugh and the histories would indeed educate you, but it was the dramas, the great dramas. Beloveds understand that you are all in the midst of your great dramas. And you come back and you regale all of us at the end of the evening when you allow your body to rest and your soul rises through the dimensions and you come back and you tell us how your days were and how you have lost your kittens and how you have lost your mittens and how you have lost your spouses and how you have abandoned your families and how you have murdered and killed and everything else in between. And we applaud you for the drama that has been ensuing but beloveds understand that all of this is indeed happening for a reason and happening for a purpose. It is happening for you to allow yourself to experience the myriad of dynamics that you chose to experience when you said, yes, I will volunteer for that mission called planet Earth. I will volunteer to go and allow myself to experience the entire realm of feelings and emotions that are available to one human being and then I will come back and I will let you know how it went. And every time that you descend back into the body and you come to the waking, you say, was that a dream? <laughs> Did I really dream those conversations? Did I really have those conversations? Was I really that person in the realms of the angelics? Was I really reporting on how I was doing in my ensuing same bat time, same bat channel episode of life on planet Earth. So beloveds, we do not mean to poke fun at you when you wish to wallow in your misery or your anger or your fear or your longings. We just wish to point out to you that it is all your choice, that it is all your decision. And indeed, you have a hand in all of it. So allow yourselves to indulge as long as you do. Know that you have our love, compassion, and desire for you to wake up and to remember. And also know, beloveds, that at each and every moment you have the free will choice to say, ah, I choose to remember that this has been my creation. I choose to remember that this is my sole responsibility. And as our beloved Mark says, I and I alone have chosen this. I and I alone am responsible for all of this. And so we ask you to take yourself with a bit of lightness. We ask you to take yourself with a bit of understanding and remembering that only love is real. And the rest is just this dramatic reenactment. It does not mean that you do not feel hurt. It does not mean that you do not feel angry. But beloveds, what we do ask you to do is allow yourself to feel it. It is in the staving off it and it is in the denial of what it is that you are feeling that you are keeping yourself stuck. So if you feel angry, allow yourself to feel angry. If you feel rage, allow yourself to feel rage. And if you feel fear, allow yourself to feel the fear, beloveds. Do not say no, say yes. Say, I welcome you feelings and emotions. Indeed. Allow yourselves to feel all that you feel. And in the end, beloved, you come to one thing and one thing only, and that is to know that only love is real. It does not mean that you will feel things other than love or that you won't, but in the end, every breath that you take leads you to one thing and one thing only, and that is the breath of life. The breath that is God's breath as it is breathed through you. 
So enjoy, beloveds, and indulge. It is like eating chocolate ice cream with a cherry on top. Know that you have always our blessings. Know that you have always our guidance. And when at the end of the day, you are ready to lay down your weapons and say, oh, I'm tired of this one. <laughs> your animals will return to you. Your loved ones will come back to you. And you will always find yourself back to the kingdom and to the garden from whence you have never left. So in the meantime, enjoy with our blessings and our loves always and know that we will speak with you again. Greetings, beloved ones.